How to create a portfolio site on WordPress in 8 steps. Lacking a professional portfolio can severely impact the types of client or employer you attract, especially if you are a freelancer. Many won't give this step due care and attention because they think it's too complicated or don't know where to start. However, creating a professional-looking portfolio site on WordPress is a piece of cake. WordPress is the perfect solution for freelancers who are looking to showcase their work on a budget. It's got everything you need, power out of the box and plenty of additional functionality through the myriad of available themes and plugins. Watching this video, you'll learn how to create a basic but elegant portfolio site on WordPress in 8 steps. And we'll start right at the beginning for those who are unfamiliar with aspects such as web hosting and WordPress installs. Let's get started. Step number 1. Choose a good WordPress host. We've discussed this topic to the death in this article, but if you want to jump right in, here are the 4 things you'll need to keep in mind when choosing a WordPress host. Scalability. Your host should be able to handle demanding sites, in case you want to pursue new projects in the future. Security. A good host should take web security seriously and offer features to keep you safe. Support. This one is critical. If anything goes wrong with your site, you'll want to have access to a reliable support team. And the final thing, reputation. Every web host will have its detractors, but overall you'll want to go with one that has a proven track record. We would be doing you a disservice if we just suggested a single host now and said sign up here. Instead, you should take a look at our recent massive WordPress hosting survey and use that information to make a decision. Let's now move on to installing WordPress. This process might look a bit different depending on the web host you are settled on. But the basic steps remain the same. After signing up with the provider, you'll gain access to a private cPanel for your hosting plan. This will likely include a one-click option for installing WordPress or the Softaculous Apps Installer. Click on the Softaculous Apps Installer icon and find the WordPress option on the next screen. Then click on Install now to begin the process. On the next screen you'll be prompted to fill in the details of your WordPress site, including its name, description, account name and password, among others. Most of these are self-explanatory, but for security reasons remember to change the default admin username and database name. Once you click on Install and waited a few moments, You've created your first WordPress site. Now we go to find and install the right themes and plugins. This step is a bit more open-ended than the rest of this guide, for the simple reason that we can't pick the perfect theme and plugins for your own needs. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to use the Zarif Pro theme as our foundation, which also comes with a free version. While Zarif Pro is a perfectly solid choice, we urge you to look around and find a theme that feels just right for you. You can settle on either a multipurpose theme, such as Zarif Pro, or look for something tailored to visual portfolios. As long as your theme has decent ratings and good documentation, you should be okay. Dealing with plugins poses a similar issue. Shooting off random plugin recommendations would be irresponsible. However, we can teach you how to spot the best free ones. Once you've learned that, you'll be ready to delve into the official plugin directory and see what piques your interest. After finding the perfect theme and the promising plugin or two, you'll need to install them. To do that, you should start in the WordPress dashboard. You can access it by going to yoursite.com slash wp-admin. Log in and familiarize yourself with that dashboard. Ours already has a few extra options. 
but don't concern yourself with those right now. Instead, look to the Appearance and Plugins tab. Click on Appearance and on the next screen you'll find an Add New option. Clicking that will bring you to a new screen where you can either select one WordPress default themes or upload a new one. Selecting Upload Theme brings up a prompt to locate your downloaded theme on your computer. Select the folder, click on Install Now and you are all set. To install any plugins, the process is very similar. It all happens in the Plugins tab. Lastly, please bear in mind that your new theme and any plugins you install need to be activated in order to work. If you skip the activation, your themes and plugins won't function. Step number 4 it's about building the header. We have WordPress installed and a working theme. Now it's time to actually create our portfolio page. Its first component will be a header, a simple, full width image with a clear message and call to action for any potential clients visiting your site. Head to Appearance customize and check out how the Zerif theme looks out of the box. Let's take that big header section and adjust it for our needs using the WordPress customizer, a place to tweak your theme to your desired needs. This involves three steps. Step number one is to replace the text under content in the big title section. That's how Zerif refers to its header. Step number two is to adjust the text of the first button and removing the second in that same section. Step number three is uploading a new image under the Parallax tab and turning on the effect. This enables us to use an image as a background instead of plain colors. Here is the result after implementing those tweaks. That's our header ready for action and we'll take a look at the site as a whole at the end. You'll notice that the button below doesn't link anywhere at this stage. We'll fix it later. Let's move to building a project gallery. The project gallery is the heart and soul of any portfolio site on WordPress. It's essentially a collective display of your latest projects with links to each entry. The Zerif theme includes a custom post type called Portfolio, which enables you to add new projects from the dashboard. For this example, we've added four our past articles and set featured images for each. Once set, this will appear on your main portfolio page. Aside from creating four individual projects, here's what else we did using the WordPress customizer. We added a new portfolio section underneath our header. You can do this in Zerif through a drop-down menu in the Sections Order tab. We modified the main title under the Content tab of the Portfolio section. Finally, we enabled the Open Portfolio in a Lightbox option under the Settings tab. That way, you don't need to create individual pages for each project to get up and running. Just assign a good image that exemplifies your work and flesh out each page later if necessary. Next, we'll tackle adding some additional content, specifically an About Me section. We're already making great headway into our portfolio, but we still need to flesh things out. An excellent way to do that is to provide your visitors with some insights into who you are. For example, the key facts employers would love to know about you. To do that, we are going to use the Reef Pro to divide all of the information into digestible bytes. Those types of items are called blurbs and they are part of Zerif's Our Focus section in the customizer. Here are the steps you need to follow. Add an Our Focus section to your portfolio page using the Sections Order tab. Enter the Our Focus section and change the content under Header to About Me. And the final step is to create three or more individual widgets under the Our Focus section widgets. Each should include a title, some body text and an image from your WordPress media library. Now let's see how the finished product looks. Wow! 
looking good, we're getting pretty close to the end. Now it's time to deal with the last big section of our portfolio site on WordPress, the contact form. Now that you've reeled in employers, it's time to get them to contact you. Sure, you could just drop your email in here, but the contact form looks much more professional. Here is how to do it. First of all, the Reef includes a Contact Us section. But if you are looking for an alternative, we recommend the Pirate Forms plugin. Jump back into the Customizer and add a Contact Us section within the Sections Order tab, right after About Me. Then, head into it, go to Settings and enter your email address into the relevant field. The contact form included in this section is perfect for our needs, so all we have to do is edit its titles. We can do this using the main content tab. Before moving on to the final step, head back to the big title section in the content and add contact on the first button link. That's called anchor text and it will link your call to action onto the contact form below it. For the final step, flesh out your new portfolio site and look at where you can go from here. Take a moment to step back and admire your work. We've just built a simple, professional-looking portfolio site on WordPress together. What comes next is up to you. Firstly, you'll want to read up on everything you can do with the Reef, whether that's adding more projects, creating individual pages for each of them, or playing around with new sections. Next, you'll want to learn some of the advanced techniques to take your portfolio even further using the Zerif theme. For that, check out our recent 3 killer WordPress portfolio leaks to make your site awesome piece.